Hi, I'm Dr. Rumley. I'm here to talk to you today about a course that I offer called Molecular and Cellular Biology. This course will be offered in the fall of 2009 during the Gamma Blocks. Students that successfully complete this course will receive um, 0.5 honors credit. Uh, students should have completed uh, a general biology course. And uh, this class is, I, I'm very proud of this class. This class has evolved over the years. Um, we will be looking at uh, um, various disciplines within molecular and cell biology. We'll be having some core labs that we engage in and class discussions that we will engage in. But there is a strong emphasis that will be a strong emphasis placed on students developing their own research product, projects. Um, of course, I'm there to help you, guide you, facilitate your project. Uh, but it's really about you going from ground zero, you know, to this beautiful final product, which I'm always proud of my students and what they accomplish in the, the semester that we have. Uh, so if you're into research, want to explore, or want to find out if you like research, uh, this is a great class for you to do that. Um, we'll be looking at some things like bio, just, just to talk about a couple of things. Uh, in, the, in the beginning, we'll look at some bioinformatics. Um, we'll look, do some protein modeling. You know, my area of uh, my, my dissertation was in uh, protein folding, so I have a little prejudice there. I like to do a little protein folding and modeling um, in my class. Uh, you know, and so here begins a series of um, projects that students have uh, picked on their own um, or with, through assistance with me and developed throughout the semester. One student did a protein structure and function uh, folding uh, project. She used a variety of uh, methods, um, you know, gel electrophoresis. Uh, you know, here's students in, interested in looking at the effect, um, changes in protein expression. Uh, let's see. Uh, every year I have kids who just really think enzymes are really cool, and they are cool, because without enzymes we'd be dead. <laughs> um, so uh, lots of great projects to, to do with enzymes. And then there's also signaling, cellular signaling. Uh, that's an amazing concept, um, the kinds of signaling that have to occur, again, to keep us sort of going in the being normal and healthy. Um, so there's a variety of projects that one could pick there. A few years ago, a student really wanted to look at the effects of nicotine on apoptosis. And this project evolved, and we continued on with other kids saying, you know, I want to test the effects of caffeine and alcohol on apoptosis. And you know, kids have even taken these projects that they've done in this class, and they've made them into honors research projects the following year, or you know, a semester independent study. Students uh, have the opportunity to do cell culture. Um, we have used um, kidney mammalian cells, uh, and we grow them in an incubator with uh, media under specific conditions. Um, it's a really great technique. I'm not sure how many facilities uh, have these, um, the equipment and the space needed to do cell culture, because it's uh, something that you need to use in a, do in a sterile environment. Um, so I've had kids test the effects of drugs, the effects of ultraviolet light um, on uh, cell growth within um, the uh, cell culture projects. So these are some really great opportunities for you to explore. Also, kids have looked, um, you know, is your food safe to eat? And they uh, have gone on to just sort of learn the techniques that they need to test food for a variety of bacteria. Uh, what's the effect of artificial sweeteners on you? Um, quorum, quorum sensing in uh, bacteria. Uh, I have a student that was uh, looking at how to eliminate, eliminate um, E. coli from pr produce. And so there's a lot of great potential projects. Uh, hopefully I will meet those of you who would like to do some projects. Thanks. Bye.